Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak, and this is ProstateVideos.com. For men who are faced with getting hormone therapy, which means lowering the testosterone level, there has been a growing concern about possible side effects, one of them being the increased risk of heart attacks. Recently, an article addressed this controversy because the American Heart Association, the American Neurological Association, and the American Cancer Society convened a panel, to dis a panel to discuss this issue. The truth is that there has been no evidence from prospective randomized trials of men on hormone therapy of an increased risk of heart attacks or heart cardiovascular events in the average population. In men that do have a history of heart disease, things may be a little different. But the question then becomes, if you're a patient and considering going on hormone therapy, is it necessary now to go through a formal cardiac evaluation with a stress test, an echocardiogram, or any other interventions prior to going on your hormone therapy? And based on this panel's recommendation, they say at this time there is no evidence to say that the heart attack risk or the heart disease risk is increased. They acknowledge that it makes sense, that it could happen, because when a man goes on hormone therapy, he gains a few pounds and he becomes a little bit more anemic. His lipid profile, his cholesterol profile may change a little bit. So those things could possibly have an influence. It's just that we have no study data to demonstrate that that's the case. And in fact, there have been randomized studies in which who were, men who were getting radiation therapy either received hormone therapy or did not. And those studies failed to show a difference in the heart attack rate or heart complication rate, whether men received hormone therapy or not. So I think this is useful information. We clearly want to recognize that many men who were getting hormone therapy were getting it prematurely and that it's not necessarily to treat every man with a rising PSA. But if you are a candidate for hormone therapy and you don't have any known heart history, you don't need to worry about and feel like you need to get a full cardiac evaluation before your doctor starts your treatment. Hopefully you'll find this information useful. Thank you.